Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savannah. We welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, debates, entertainment. And we give you guys the first perspective on things. And I'll be sitting today. We have an interesting show for you guys. Before we get into it, uh, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to follow us on our socials, on my name on Instagram is C Taban, C A T A B A N Z. Uh, Dreamers Pro on Instagram, same in the channel, and the Dreamers Pro podcast we have pinned below. Anyway, uh, let me get into this topic here. I'm dealing with a cold uh, under the weather, trying not to exert too much energy here, but hey, uh, let's give it a shot. As you guys know, um, ever since Shannon Sharp left Undisputed, uh, they've been on a downward spiral. I was even looking at some of their views on their YouTube channel. They don't even get the same views that they used to get. Skip Bayless's show is a non-factor. It does absolutely nothing. But then when you think about for example, Shannon Sharp, his former co-host, Shannon, ever since his departure from Undisputed, has gone on to thrive. He's probably in the top three biggest names in sports media right now. It's him, uh, Pat McAfee, and then Stephen A. Smith in the independent space. It's him and Pat McAfee, not Stephen A. Smith. Shannon Sharp just finished having the second most watched interview in the history of YouTube. It has over 50 million views. The entire interview has about 100 million views in aggregate, as if you compile all of the clips. It's, ins it's insane, right? So he's been experiencing amazing success, but it hasn't just been off of YouTube. It's been uh, as well when he's been on television. Whenever he goes on, uh, on ESPN First Take, you can see a noticeable spike in the viewership no uh, numbers whenever he's there. And if you look at the numbers from FS1, they have been on a steady decline to the point where nobody really even talks about FS1. So what happened? Uh, this morning, excuse me, this evening, I was doing some research and I came across an article from the sun.com and the article had the following headline. It said, blowing up FS1 and ESPN and major ratings boost as numbers are revealed in huge boost for, uh, what is it for first take and Stephen A. Smith. This article was published on January uh, 22nd. So this article was published today. Obviously depends on when you're seeing it. So this is the article I want to actually focus on. But before we even get into that, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Aura. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who's the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened in addition Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at aura.com slash dreamers pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below. Also know that you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So let me continue on with the article. It says the NFL playoffs have been skyrocketing viewership of sports talk last week. After the shocking wild card loss by the Dallas Cowboys, ESPN saw record viewership for its talk shows. Get up average 979,000 viewers while ES uh, while first day came in at a record 1.5, uh, 1.6 million views. The previous record for get up was 730,000 viewers on January 3rd, 2023. And first take was 918,000 on January 17th, 2022. Both shows were on the way up at the end of 2023 with get up averaging 467,000 viewers in November and 449,000 viewers in December. Those were the best two months ever first take finished with 606 611,000 average viewers in december its second best month ever and 17th straight month of growth for the show which is incredible get up saw a 69 percent increase in viewership in 2023 while first take more than doubled his viewers pat mcafee enjoyed the ratings rise as well after first takes uh, record setting show the pat mcafee show averaged a new record of 812,000 811,000 viewers on ESPN2 
uh, 2 p.m. slot. This show averaged 946,000 viewers across ESPN, YouTube, and ESPN+. ESPN wasn't the only network pulling in big numbers, though. Fox Sports also saw their numbers explode during the NFL. The Herd averaged 316,000. Uh, and after the Cowboys lost, Undisputed averaged 267,000. You heard what they had to say. Now, a boom for ES for Undisputed is 267,000. Whereas on ESPN, first take is 1.5 million. ESPN, first take, is totally crushing Undisputed. And it's not even funny. You got to think about this. They let go of Shannon Sharp. They brought on an ensemble cast. And with all of these people, they are, they have yet to find a way to even come close to the viewership numbers of ESPN First Take. It is that crazy. And I think a major part of that is, the, is Shannon Sharp. Also, Stephen A. Smith plays a major role because they have a well-oiled machine. Uh, they have a rotating cast. Um, various people have different views. Um, the personality, the personalities that they're bringing, I believe are more interesting, uh, than the panel that they bring on an undisputed on undisputed. You have Richard Sherman, Keyshawn Johnson, little Wayne, uh, um, uh, M Michael Irvin and a few others. Well, ESPN first take, you got Stephen A. Smith, you got Shannon Sharp, you got Chris Mad Dog Russo, you got Kendrick Perkins, you have JJ Reddick, you have, uh, uh, um, Jay Williams and so many other people. And whenever they come on, they always have interesting views. So what are my thoughts moving forward? I think this trend is going to continue to trend in that direction. I think ESPN is going, ESPN, these shows are going to continue to dominate FS1. And I'm going to repeat what I said before, and I'm going to say it again. I think one of the biggest mistakes that FS1 did was letting go of Shannon Sharp. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. You got to find a way to keep a talent like that. You just have to. You just have to. And I reproduced the show uh, less than a month ago. Where we pose the question is, was he, uh, Skip Bayless holding back Shannon Sharp? Well, clearly that's what the numbers say. Because what he's doing on ESPN and in the independent space is absolutely unheard of. Unheard of. Unheard of. So to me, man, I think ESPN has a lot of, I mean, uh, FS1 has a lot of work to do. Um, Skip Bayless, for whatever reason, is not resonating the way he used to resonate before. Um, and I think that they're going to continue to struggle against these views. Because I don't see, I mean, ESPN had the 17th consecutive month of growth. That's that's unheard of. You're talking about a year a year plus of consecutive growth. That's incredible. So to me, man, um, uh, no, no big surprise here. I think you're going to see more of, that, more of that this year. And I think that you're going to see these guys on these shows, brands, continue to expand. I'm talking about Stephen A. Smith, uh, J.J. Reddick, Shannon Sharp, and all of them. And I think that. FS1 is going to have, they're going, to, they're going to have to have, they're going to have some struggles until they figure something out. So these are my thoughts. What I want to know from you guys, what do you think about this article? What are your general feelings? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.